Hello and welcome to this channel. My name is Victoria and in today's video we will talk about terms used to describe the orientation of the fetus inside the mother's uterus. In gynecology, terms like fetal habitus, fetal situs, fetal position and fetal presentation are used. And I will explain what each of them means and which variations can be observed. I know how confusing these terms can be, I have to remind myself of what is what often also, and that's why I thought this video would perhaps be interesting. Let's start to talk about fetal habitus first. Fetal habitus describes how the limbs and the head of the growing baby are positioned in relation to each other and to the trunk. In normal position, the head is flexed and the chin is resting on the chest while all the joints of the extremities are flexed and crossed in front of the fetal abdomen. This position reduces the volume of the baby as much as possible. You can also see an approximate picture of it on the poster to maybe imagine it a little bit easier. The next term I want to talk about is fetal situs, or sometimes also called fetal lie. It refers to the long axis of the baby in relation to the long axis of the mother. So if the fetal spine is aligned with the mother's spine, we call it a longitudinal lie. This is the case for around 99% of fetuses. Around 1% of fetuses are found in a transverse lie, where the fetal head is positioned in a 90 degree angle to the mother's spine. In earlier stages of pregnancy, the fetus can also be found in an oblique position, but eventually, latest during labor, this position will change, either to a transverse or to a longitudinal lie. The next point is the fetal presentation. That refers to the part of the baby that is first going to enter the mother's pelvis. So basically, if the baby is head down or feet down. If the head of the baby is entering the maternal pelvis first, we call it a cephalic presentation. A variation of that is that if not the occipitus is entering the pelvis first, but the face. If the feet are entering the maternal pelvis first, we call that a breech position. And also here, there are variations. In complete breach, both legs are flexed and positioned in front of the fetal abdomen. In the footling breach, one foot is facing downwards and enters the maternal pelvis and the other one is flexed and positioned in front of the fetal abdomen. In the frank breach position, both legs are facing downwards and the baby is looking as if it is standing in the mother's uterus. Another variation is if the shoulder is the first part of the fetus that will enter the maternal pelvis. The last term I want to describe today is the fetal position. This is exclusive for babies found in cephalic presentation and describes the position of the fetal head when it enters the birth canal. The three basic variants are occipito anterior, occipito transverse, and occipito posterior, each describing in which direction the fetal back of the head is pointing in relation to the mother's pelvis. That's it for this video. I hope this overview was clear to describe the terms that we use in gynecology for the fetal orient orientation in the uterus. And if you like our channel, it would be very nice if you would subscribe. Thank you very much.